Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So as you can see, I am now 39 weeks pregnant. So close. So close. The final countdown is here and a lot of times very pregnant women have a very difficult time falling asleep, staying asleep. If it's not from physical symptoms, it's just from the mind being overactive. Too busy, yeah. But I think we can all relate to not always getting the best sleep because our minds just go crazy. Totally. I mean, you guys have heard me talk on this channel before about how sleep is probably where I struggle the most. We're going to share not only our evening routine, but we've also kind of broken it down into seven different things that you might be able to incorporate into your evenings to help you get a better night's sleep. So we're going to begin our evening routine with dinner time. We really strive to eat an early dinner, so usually leaving about a three to four hour window between when we finish dinner and when we actually fall asleep. Yep. So this helps with optimal digestion and I will say when we go out to dinner or when we eat too late, I definitely don't sleep as well. I find that it's really hard for me to fall asleep or stay asleep. Maybe I'll fall asleep fast, but I wake up, you know, within an hour or two, I can just tell my belly is doing work. So the best thing, again, for us to fall asleep early and stay asleep hard is to eat an early dinner. Right, so just remember your body can't rest and digest simultaneously. Right. So you want to give yourself that window of time for your body to fully start to digest food enough so that your stomach isn't full and things have started to move further along the track. So when you fall asleep, your body can work on things like repair yep. and rejuvenating and resting and restoring. This also lines up perfectly with intermittent fasting. Again, we're not like religious about that, but eating an early dinner and a late breakfast gives you a big window of time between meals. We've seen a few different professionals and a lot of research showing that about a 13 hour window is optimal yep. between your last meal and then your first meal the next day. Moving on, the second thing that we do every single night is have some sort of tea or calming beverage so since we've been going to Costa Rica for three or four years now the one thing that we have had every, almost every night on our retreats is fresh holy basil tea so I buy it dried or organic of course and I have a holy basil tea every single night about an hour or so before bed to calm me down some say it gives you energy some say it calms you down I find for me that it again reduces anxiety and calms me down and I sleep like a rock. Another tea that I occasionally drink is licorice root tea. So licorice root is said to reduce cortisol levels, especially in the morning. Now we need that cortisol, but it doesn't need to be super high. Again, causing anxiety and anxiousness and stuff like that. So occasionally I'll have some licorice root tea at bedtime as well. My favorite is typically ginger tea because it really eases your digestion yep. and it can help with any inflammation or heartburn. So I really love ginger tea, but I also love like a good lavender or a chamomile or lemon balm, which we just planted our herb garden and we yep. have some fresh <laughs> lemon balm in there and it's so amazing. On that note, while we're talking about beverages that we enjoy after dinner time to relax us, there are two things that you probably want to steer clear of namely caffeine and alcohol right so if you guys haven't already seen our why we stop drinking video definitely check it out in the description below yep. but that's definitely something that has changed my sleep both of our sleep tremendously oh, yeah. is cutting alcohol so moving on to number three the next thing we build into our evening routine is some form of meditation spirituality and or yoga kind of depends on how much time we have depends on if Max falls asleep early or not <laughs> and how chill he might be if he wants to join us. Yeah. But we typically work out in the mornings, so that's kind of our time to just really hit the ground running. <laughs> but then in the evening, it's nice to still work in some sort of movement that can, again, aid in digestion yep. and also kind of start to calm your body down. Yep. Yeah, I would say in the summertime, in fact, I was just talking to my brother last night, walking is a good one too if mm -hmm. it's nice outside, but it's been brutally hot here. And then again, we have like months and months of cold weather. So again, this indoor yoga and stretching is something that has really changed the game. Releasing some stress every night before bed with some stretching, some yoga, and like some massage has been like the best thing ever. And I will say ever since quarantine, we both got out of the habit of totally. going to like yoga classes. Yep. And so we've turned to Glow Yoga yep. online, which we are super grateful to them for not only helping us with our yoga flow, but also sponsoring this video. So the cool thing about Glow Yoga is that 
there are 16 types of fitness that you can choose from on there. Over 4,000 courses. Not only that, they have live courses, which is super fun. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is that all instructors are certified and have been vetted, so you know that you're getting some legit <laughs> yoga instruction. And I love that I can access it on my phone yep. anywhere if we're going to travel totally. or on our Apple TV or our Roku. Yep. So it's anywhere that we are. It's super hands on. And I love that they, like I said, are catering to prenatal and postpartum yep. and that there's meditation tracks on there. So it's been super helpful because I just find that when I work out with some kind of guided instructor, I do so much better. I tend to flounder even in the morning going out into the garage. If I'm not doing a workout video, I kind of lose my focus. If you guys are interested in trying out Glow Yoga, you can access it via the link below. It'll give you seven days free, after which you can subscribe monthly at $18 a month, or you can get 25% off if you sign up for a yearly subscription. It comes down to only $13.50 a month. So awesome. Far cheaper than even going to one single yoga class. Yeah, it's insane. We are Christian and yes we also practice yoga and meditation and mindfulness but we of course read our Bibles and meditate on scripture you know our faith is a big part of our lives and we sometimes unfortunately get a lot of flack from Christian haters I'll just say because they think that you know yoga is somehow like evil or you know not good for Christians to do but I've talked to pastors and priests. I'm even reading a book right now called Christ, the Beatitudes and the Practice of Yoga. Like it all actually can work very well together. And so that's something that we've worked in is some a healthy yoga practice. And we don't expect everyone to agree with us on every single life practice we do or don't incorporate, but we're just saying what has worked for us and right. honestly helps to, like I said, quiet mind, body and spirit simultaneously. Totally. Number four, create your own spa at home. <laughs> so we are nighttime showerers, yep. so it makes it very easy for us. We like to wash the day off <laughs> both mentally and physically. Totally. Doing all the spa stuff, Aaron <laughs> and I like to say, is like another thing that just creates that zen vibe for sleepy time and again max recently is like all about the bubble baths so he's yeah. like bubble bath dad like he <laughs> says it's so sweet and so it's like heck yeah let's do a bubble bath let's chill out let's relax you know we throw some epsom salt in the bath some lavender oil and whatever we can do maybe some essential oils in the diffuser whatever mm -hmm. you can do to create that spa vibe is what we're doing most nights and dusty is all about the dimmable lighting oh, so yeah. he's got dimming <laughs> switches on every single floor of the house yep. so we go from this bright daylight down to like a very warm light that's better for the eyes totally. it releases the right kind of hormones to help your body prepare for sleep yep. we've even got a shower light bulb that you can change it goes through all the spectrums of the entire rainbow so totally. you can choose if you want red or purple or blue yep. and then music he's all about the audio <laughs> too so we always choose something a little bit more relaxing like spa yep. music and yep. like he said the essential oils so you know all trying to engage all of the senses with some of that spa spa like you know vibe and I think something else that I love to do from time to time is dry brushing which is really great for circulation it helps to slough off dead skin cells great for lymphatic drainage which can help to detoxify the body and on top of that getting out of the shower just having very clean and very simple um, moisturizers for your skin so right. we've gone through using just coconut oil right now we love jojoba oil and yep. I've got a couple of skincare brands I really love if you guys are interested let me know I'd love to make a video just on skincare totally so moving on number five Aaron talked a little bit about lighting in the last <laughs> one and for real this is like my bread and butter. I mean, I've gone through so many different types of light bulbs just testing to see <laughs> what's the color like, what's the dimmability like, like all of these things because it's really so important. Every night we have blue blocker glasses that we also put on as soon as we get out of the shower because you really want to start blocking that blue light. But again, the most important thing is gonna be to have warm glow light bulbs in your house, dimmable, 
if possible. And then something else that we really love and that is really backed by a lot of scientific research is actually red light therapy. Yeah, I love red light therapy for multiple reasons. It has been backed by science, like Dusty says. For sure. It's been shown and proven to reduce hyperpigmentation, fine lines, wrinkles, acne, scarring, all that kind of stuff. So of course that's something that's like, it comes with time. <laughs> but the thing that I can vouch for on like a daily regular basis is if I do my red light therapy before bedtime, I sleep much more soundly. For sure. It's also been proven to like speed up recovery, to heal wounds, like all okay. of these things. They've tested athletes, okay. astronauts, and again, this is like game changing real life therapy. So we seriously prioritize our lighting. Avoiding blue light, dimming the light bulbs down, and utilizing red light therapy for relaxation, healing, etc. You know, a thousand years ago, there were no light bulbs, there were no devices. So, okay. again, when the sun went down, it was pitch black. So, we try to do the same thing again at home. Basically, just getting your body to really fall into that circadian rhythm. Number six, yep. we were just talking about what we call this category. <laughs> we're not exactly sure, but we're gonna lump these things into one because they all kind of go together. They're right. elixirs or tinctures yep. or potions, whatever you want to call them. But there's a couple of things that we usually take right before bed yep. because they tend to be fast acting. So oh. number one would be an oral magnesium supplement. You guys know we are huge fans of Sun Warrior products in general because they're super clean, very effective. So we love the liquid magnesium. I've heard yep. from a lot of people saying, how do you get it down? It tastes so strong. <laughs> but the strength and the taste just lends to how potent and effective right. it really is. So honestly, I put it in a cup of water about like this, maybe a little bit less water and just swig it down. Yeah, a couple summers ago, I seriously had insomnia. Like I just could not sleep for whatever reason. And this saved me. I would put four full droppers in my water before bed and it's a concentrated seawater complex that is super strong, but you swig it down, it would knock me out. It <laughs> helped me go to the bathroom again the next morning and like it really really works in another video i actually mentioned you guys if you watched through to the end you know that the first time dusty had me try the liquid magnesium <laughs> I slept so hard, I wet the bed. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of women, especially in their third trimester, can get leg cramps, yep. restless legs, and just not sleep well overall. So magnesium is great for all of those things. Right. Even if you're a high-performing athlete, if you're having a lot of cramps and twitches and aches, magnesium is great for calming everything, including even your digestive system. Yep. So it can help get things moving, which is another bonus. Yep. If you aren't very regular, having magnesium in your system can soften in your stools and help you to go the next day and if taking it orally doesn't suit you or it makes your stools too soft like in an uncomfortable way you can also use it transdermally so i know you've been doing that more lately Tons. so we have a spray bottle again of magnesium oil it's like a seawater salt complex that you spray in your hands rub it on i rub it into my core and on my legs same thing sleep like a rock so highly recommend that Another thing that you guys have heard me talk about here on YouTube for sure and probably on Instagram is the CBC oil that I've been using. I've been doing this for months right after my evening teas. Things like this would be great to take in place of your sleep aids that you right. can get over the counter yeah. because these are all naturally occurring elements and they come from plants yeah so you can feel a lot more rest assured that you're putting safe things on and in your body totally and the last thing we love is our essential oils which we already kind of touched on but i yeah. would say some favorites again kind of like the teas would be lavender essential oil and roman chamomile as well as jasmine i really love jasmine which if you're interested it's also considered an aphrodisiac i will say the lavender for sure is something that again i've put in a spray bottle and i've been spraying it on my chest and kind of rub it around max leaned over in bed the other night and was like taking the <laughs> biggest deep breaths of the lavender oil helps to calm me down just so soothing peaceful calming helps me sleep and the last one I'll note is that we love putting frankincense in a roller ball right. and rolling it on the soles of our feet. That's yep. another great one. So last but not least, number <laughs> seven, probably one of the most important and kind of obvious ones recently is to disconnect from devices and technology. There are nights where I want to sit on my laptop in bed and right. especially being <laughs> pregnant, you really need to be concerned with the EMFs. So I have like a laptop tray. Yep. We also have a little laptop EMF blocking blanket as right. well as 
cases, a phone case, and different stickers, and they definitely work. I will say the stickers on the back of the phone work because my hand used to get really hot, which I took as like a sign that this isn't good for my hand, this is radiation, right. but the sticker, my hand doesn't get hot anymore, and I am not kidding you. So we can right. link some of our favorite <laughs> products below, but that being said, like, if you have to be on your device, protect yourself, but even better is to get your phone on airplane mode right. so the Wi-Fi and any kind of connection is off. Erin and I have started plugging both of our phones in another room, so she has her little office room, I put mine in the bathroom. But even turning the Wi-Fi off in the house, like the router, could not only be like super beneficial for your health, but especially for sleep too. Mm -hmm. And then there's also different stones that are said <laughs> to block EMFs. Yep. There has been research done not right. a ton but you can look into shungite yeah. and organite these are things that you can either wear as a bracelet right. or there's like pyramids that you can place on your router yeah. all kinds of crazy stuff it's all about like reversing the effects of those electromagnetic fields that are like flying around right the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and even the electrical current within the walls it's like these things are like buzzing right they're like mm -hmm. real energy electrical energy radio signals etc and it's like that's keeping us awake so like we said before best case scenario turn everything off at the end of the day it's just how can you minimize the amount of currents and frequencies and yeah. waves floating around at least for the eight hours while you're sleeping because that's a big chunk of your of your day that's a third of your totally. life where you can really either protect or harm yourself and in place of technology get a stack of books right. especially <laughs> max has honestly gotten me back into the habit of reading at bedtime because totally. he always wants a bedtime story yep. and he absolutely loves it and i want to keep it that way yep. so staying on top of that practice you know every other night or so as well as having a notebook by the bed because especially now like i've got baby names racing through my brain <laughs> and things i need to grab on amazon before the new baby's here totally so having a notebook is a great way to just have a brain dump yeah so if you do find yourself jolting awake in the middle of the night yep. because your mind is racing just empty it onto a notepad so yep. you can sleep soundly totally i like can't actually get any reading done because a page and a half in I'm zonked out, <laughs> right? Like I'll spend an hour and a half on my phone and it like wakes me up. But reading is completely the opposite. Like five, 10 minutes, I'm out cold. I feel like it's your mind on a totally different wavelength right. because not even just like the blue light from the devices, but just the fact that like, it causes your brain to think so quickly because yeah. everything is just something different. Moving. But a book is just like nice and slow and it just yep. drags you along into a deep slumber. <laughs> totally. Okay guys, we hope you enjoyed these top seven tips for calming down, reducing stress, falling asleep, all of these things. Seriously, we practice every <laughs> single day slash night and we hope they help you too. And if you are 39 weeks pregnant or pregnant <laughs> at all, let me know in the comments and let me know if any of these tips or tricks help you specifically For because sure. struggle is real. <laughs> <laughs> Send us your best wishes for a healthy baby this next week, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we need your prayers and your support. We can't wait to share the birthing process with you guys and more helpful tips, tricks, learning how to live your best life. Be sure to check out Glow Yoga, whether it's to help you sleep better at night for or sure. just to prep you for the rest of your day. It's amazing. You guys know the drill. Eat, move, rest, your best. Peace. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.